Hello viewers, me and team here, and welcome to game 10 of the Hall of Fame Challenger series. This is the final game in the series. Uh, before we go into it, just a quick thing, I did submit the game for uh, game 9 here, challenge 5-9, and I would be ninth, uh, assuming everything holds up, so that would be worth one point. And uh, right now, that would push me up to 10th uh, overall, so yeah. <laughs> I'd be fighting with aged one here for the final roster spot or uh, final spot on the top 10 of people who've completed the series. And uh, interestingly enough, uh, Be Cool and Tacky here, um, they're a game and two games out, respectively. Uh, Shulik also two games out. A lot of these guys are in danger of not finishing the series, uh, which is somewhat telling, uh, to be honest, of the actual difficulty of just completing the Challenger series. Um, KCD Sweet is also done. Uh, somehow I'm ahead of him, at least for the moment. And uh, there's a couple games I'm going to go back to off screen. Or maybe I'll cast this one, since I never did cast Challenge 1. <laughs> it depends on how much time I have today, though, honestly. Because we have one day left, as you could see on the previous screen. Um, yeah. <laughs> Anyway, uh, Space Colony on Great Plains, uh, I did terribly here because I tried for like a six city, just use National Wonders, and turns out the AI is terrible at teching, so I blew them all out in tech and things got really slow. So what I would probably do here on Epic Speed is just rush out a bunch of the AI, just crush them and uh, use the land for myself. Especially on epic speed, I can afford a lot of land here. Uh, I could do much better than a 1900s finish. I could probably get a top 10 finish. Similar thing with uh, the uh, later start here. I can definitely beat this state. Uh, just by chopping out Grenadiers I can get somewhere in this range. That would improve the amount of points I get. So those are the two games that I target a lot, and then I think I can do better with Prince Culture as well. Uh, much better than 1796 if I can just roll a better starting city or two and uh, you know, get some cottages going. But that's irrelevant. For now, we're going to be taking on Challenge 10, the final in the series. And yes, so many of you have tried uh, to ask me to do Deity. Well, you got your wish, sort of! <laughs> oh, jeez. We are playing on a tiny map... We're allowed any map type we like. I'm going to use Great Plains because it's a very small map uh, relative to others. I will be screwing around to get the high sea level there, even though that's not an allowed setting normally. Well, it's not a not a changeable setting. It is allowed. Opponents can be anybody. We have to use Egypt because <laughs> otherwise people are going to use Inca apparently, and certainly the Hall of Fame table support that assertion. So whatever. I mean, it's uh, one thing or the other. Very impressive victory right here. This is insane. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what to say. Uh, let's see if he popped a hut from attack or something. No. Yeah, hut from attack. No, attack from a hut. No, he just got some gold at the start. You know, apparently pulled off some worker steals, some choking action. So there you have it. Okay, fine. Uh, <laughs> I really don't expect to have a competitive finish here. But we'll see, and yes, I'm copying the opponents that Tacky used. Tacky is an extremely good player, even when he's not getting hut luck. I mean, you can just tell, he's never one across the board. And uh, just about blowing out uh, even Be Cool in this particular Challenger series. So, uh, luck or no luck, Tacky is an amazing player, especially when it comes to the early game wars. And he has shown that game in, game out. Anyway, let's be off, shall we? but I don't have that kind of micro. Um, I will, uh, in, I'll at least try to replicate that kind of micro, maybe, in uh, Realms Beyond games. But that's about it. Very interesting to get uh, a freaking fur start. You know what, that's fine. We'll just settle here. Very powerful food capital, not that that matters. And I'm actually just going to go Animal Husbandry right off the bat. Auto-explore? No, we won't auto-explore at least. Uh, let's see. Uh, Great Plains maps are always the same. You, uh, <laughs> there's a big splotch of water at the bottom right hand corner of the map. And then you have stuff up here. Now, do I want a worker or do I want a warrior? I think I want a warrior, to be honest. Uh, reason being I can just, uh, worker steal and choke. 
and really, I don't have to worry about anything, even on Deity, except for metal units. If I get some war chariots, I'm set. Okay, I'm near the top of the map. So we're just going to go this way. And hopefully I don't get unlucky with barbs, too, because right now barb animals can already spawn. So we'll just try to avoid too much grief from that. And yes, there we go. Roosevelt met, Lincoln met. Already. Let's see the relative directions. Um, Lincoln from the west. Roosevelt, I don't know where he came from. But, you know, they can't be that far away then, which is kind of the point, I suppose. And yeah, we're not allowed to check no barbarians. I think I showed that off. Well, if I didn't, I, there it is. It's the only setting we're not allowed, so take from that what you will. <laughs> Um, where to go? I mean, there's some implication based on the roads here. Well, no, that could just be, uh... Random worker nonsense. But there's a good chance of this tile getting an improvement attempt. So we'll have a look. But really, um, I'm just going to be re-rolling re until it gets... Fat Cross, uh, War Chariots. Because otherwise I don't see me winning. <laughs> or uh, being even remotely competitive. And this shouldn't be a long game. Uh, you can kind of tell. Oh yeah, see, there he is. In fact, this guy's closer. Why don't I just uh, use this warrior and uh, go ahead over there. No whammy? <laughs> I should have said whammy because without horse nearby, this is lame. So, okay. Single auto back to 4000 BC, and we're just going to re-roll and try again. <laughs> it's unfortunate, but there's no way you can use, like, Map Finder or any other such tool to determine. And, oh geez, you get some weird stuff. Okay, I'm obviously in the southwest corner this time, and there's nothing wrong with that, really. I mean, aside from... Well, aside from the obvious. Anyway... Let's go grab animal husbandry. And I don't need any text at all other than animal husbandry and mining <laughs> on this start. This starts a little bad, but you know, we'll try. We'll give it a we'll give it the old college try, I suppose. And there we go, we got someone near us. <laughs> a scout, kill it. All right, moving along. Oh, good. We found him. And turn seven once again. We've met both AIs by that point. Yeah, um, ah, shoot. Yep, I knew it. I knew it was gonna happen. <laughs> Screw you, two game. <laughs> Just when I can steal a worker, the game decides I shouldn't. Well, okay, they're obviously not going to improve that next. He's probably going to improve farmland near Washington. Oh, oh, by the way, why these two American leaders? Um, well, you could accuse me of just copying Tacky, who did well, which uh, would be accurate to some extent, but uh, there's an obvious reason for these particular uh, opponents as well. They have the lowest unit probs aside from Gandhi, and on top of that... Uh, other than that limitation, they also don't start with mining, which means that uh, bronze working action... Oh, there goes the worker. Bronze working action is really not a threat, so to speak. And I think I'd better build a worker now, because I'm not going to be able to use a stolen one. And oh god, I just lost to an enemy archer. I should have moved away right away. Shall be the fruit of thy cattle. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. All the mistakes I had here are going to be nullified because once again, we don't have horse. Isn't this fun? Is there a reason we couldn't use Inca? <laughs> oh well. I don't like having to. Oh my god. We gotta start like. What? What? Oh. <laughs> Oh my god. This is like freaking epic, super duper Magic Land epic. It's ridiculous. Are you kidding me? And okay. 
Well, at this point, uh, even if you're not familiar with the map script, you know where I am. I'm at the northwest corner of the map. And you can see there's nothing else. But, okay, we'll make a play for horse. And with a floodplain cow, I might even be willing to build a settler. It would slow me down a lot, though. So, no, no, probably not. Maybe I can pull off a worker steal here, too. It'd be nice. Oh, hi. <laughs> it's a nice uh, city you have there. It'd be a shame if uh, anything happened to that one. Hi, I'm forking your cities. Lol, 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 lol. Not that that does anything, but... Hey, why not? Get some troll lol, lol in here. Oh man. Seriously. Who throws a shoe? I mean who throw who defends his capital with uh, an archer? And who protects his worker with archers? Although he does tend to like expose it briefly, and I don't know why he's camping that in there. <laughs> yeah, okay game. Well that is what it is. Blessed shall be the fruit of thy cattle. And the for the third time, straight time, I have sheep. no horse. No horse. Well, I do apologize for this, but whatever. I mean, it is part of the game, and you wouldn't expect to roll horse on every single map as Egypt. Oh, jeez. I get a gem start, and once again, a floodplain cow. Maybe that's not unusual on this map script. I gotta say, I don't play a lot of great planes. Uh, obvious reasons are obvious. By the way, is this supposed to be epic? Yes, okay. Aha, uh -huh, tabbing for eye glitching. And I don't know where I am, so I'm just gonna wander in this direction. Can't be far from the AI regardless, apparently. And yeah, I do get a couple turns of barbarian immunity, and no matter what, it takes until turn 5. And man, when they say planes, they're not kidding. They, uh, they meant planes. Okay, well, it looks like the AI are actually a little bit further from me. But at this point, I'll just take... A, uh, I'll just take a horse start of any nature. It would be nice to be able to actually find my opponents, however. Well, I suspect one of them, at least, is to my north. Screw off, game. Oh, yeah, and there's the other one. Really? On deity, the animal opted not to attack me. I guess you got the attack courage draw or something. Holy cow, though. <laughs> you don't see that a lot on deity. Sometimes the barbs opt not to attack you on lower difficulties. Uh, well, with fair frequency. Apparently sometimes they even do that on deity. But usually they'll attack you. Blessed shall be the fruit of thy cattle, the increase of thy kind, and the flocks of thy sheep. troll <sighs> no, I'm the one being trolled here. Okay. <laughs> oh, uh, okay. Uh, yeah, that's uh, yeah, that's extra balanced right here. Crap! It just occurred to me, but uh, I would need hunting before animal husbandry on this start, and then to mining. You know what? Screw it. I'm just automating this work warrior. I'm, I'm not going to work your steel. This is getting too, uh, too much effort. Spam, enter. Can you hear it? I can hear it. Pretty much sure everyone can hear it. The whole planet. I'll win the you Dig to China with Ears contest and the whole planet will know. Because I am mashing on enter. Which is the equivalent of digging to China with one's ears, I suppose. Yeah, look how much faster this goes. And then you lose to a barbarian bear, which uh, there's a good chance that would have happened to me anyway. Did I glean anything useful? No. No, I didn't. Oh well. If I have horse, I'll just run a stack of chariots in one direction. It's, it really hasn't caused me trouble finding it before anyway. Oh man. <laughs> At this point, some of you are probably you know, like, th like hoping, "Ah, oh, man, is when is uh, me and team just gonna cut to a start where he is horse?" And the answer is, I might do that, 
But if you're watching this, I'm probably not going to. I apologize. Although, you know what, there's, uh, there's always a nice uh, feeling of uh, genuinity. Yeah, that's it. Or yeah, I don't know how you pronounce that, because ingenuity means something entirely different. Anyway, there's always a more genuine feeling when a uh, Let's Player doesn't cut anything at all. And, uh, and certainly there's a balance to for me to strike there. And a lot of you, maybe even most of you, would prefer I cut it. But then again, uh, someone can always just uh, leave a comment that you guys can thumb up in the description to skip parts. Uh, if that becomes something that uh, people prefer. And then in which case you can just skip all this yourself with a little bit of, uh, you know, comment magic. Which should, uh, in, at least in my opinion, or at least my hopes, that should make everyone happy. The people who want to watch everything can see everything, and those who don't uh, can skip it. And uh, hopefully that's not too much of a problem for anybody. I do feel it's the best approach. And uh, last time I had a very slow uh, culture finisher. I think that was Challenger 5, if I'm not mistaken. And someone's like, no, it's important right from the start. So yeah, a lot of you guys like to see that. And for that reason, I really don't like cutting things out. Uh, especially, well... Especially when I get to share the experience of the Hall of Fame Challenger series in general. Blessed shall be the fruit of thy cattle, the increase of thy kind... Okay, we, we have a bite. Maybe I can uh, not screw this one up, because it would really suck if I screwed this one up. <laughs> <laughs> considering I actually have horse here and yeah look how small this map is bottom of the map top of the map Great Plains are not a large map apparently that's something I didn't realize but this is actually a fairly balanced map script with the default number of sieves tiny and two in this case so uh, yeah that's news to me okay we're gonna go for the plains there and then we'll go ahead on over to the horse with the road unfortunately I don't have any micro tricks to demonstrate in this game but I do in the realms beyond game so if you guys uh, decided decide to lurk my thread you don't even have to be dedicated lurkers just go to my thread in um, the mountain begins by realms beyond small for pit boss or not pit boss PBEM 25 you will get a summary of my uh, playthrough there, and I am actually doing unlisted videos for that. So for those of you who are interested, I just uploaded a similar to 40 minute video uh, earlier today, which uh, uh, it'll be a couple days until this video is uploaded, so that'll be a couple days old by then. But essentially, going through like some micro-analysis as of turn 9, exploring different possibilities, for that playthrough. So if you're interested, definitely check it out. Uh, certainly Micro is not something that you would normally see coming from me, so <laughs> take that for what you will. But I actually do play through a test save numerous times in an attempt to... Uh, and oh geez, we've got a worker here. Ah, I worker still you. <laughs> Yeah, I play through a save multiple times and uh, even come to an interesting conclusions based on those experiments. Uh, for example, uh, it's pretty almost universal that building a settler before your second worker is good play, which is uh, something that surprised me because on quick speed is when you would expect that to be least likely to be the case. And uh, I'm going to see if I get away with this. Oh god, leave me alone, barbarians. Although, uh, you know, we're looking pretty pretty early game. Barbarians aren't going to enter my border yet, so that's fine. And yeah, I'll just move this guy a little bit more carefully. I really don't want to die to archers, so I'm just going to stay out of his borders for now. And yeah, he'll, uh, will he talk? No. After I build some war chariots, he probably will talk. Oh god. <laughs> Get away from me, and I'm going to have to risk this. Yeah. No, no, I'm going to lose it. That was kind of stupid. I was guaranteed to lose it. But that will probably slow Lincoln down. And uh, he gets no more success from my losing that uh, worker, which is also fine. Well, I do kind of need a warrior. 
I don't need Needle Warrior, but it would be useful to have a warrior in addition to any War Chariot play. So I'll let that finish. Why not? Okay, and from there, we're just going to get on to the Plains Mine, or Hill Mine, a Grassland Mine. Use up our last food on that. That's probably my best bet in the long run here. Alright, take combat. And then it's just going to be chopping war chariots. Uh, fortunately, not a lot of micro when you get fat cross horse. I'm going to have a very quick attack here. And you know, I'm not making a Pokemon reference until now. Well, now I am. lie mangled by the bronze spear. In his death, all things appear fair. Okay. Uh, anything else? Yeah, I'll turn this down. I am spiritual industrious. Okay. <laughs> I'm so nervous. I just want this guy game to count. <laughs> if I can get a good finish, even better. I'm not holding my breath. Aw, oh, what? Come on, Lincoln. There's no way to peace. Peace is the way. Derp, 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 derp. Hmm. I think I'd rather just get more chariots initially. Can always worry about roads later. And yeah, I mean, obviously at this point, I'm not going to be under threat from barbarians. Or at least not serious threat. I have multiple war chariots already, and they're not even entering my borders. When you have a fat cross resource, you're pretty good against barbarians on any difficulty, honestly. And now this is interesting, too, because this is the second best... Um, sec second best rush save in the game on pretty much any speed behind only Inca and I find it interesting that they allow it and oh yeah I will grow eventually but that's not necessary right now so we'll just chop some more build some roads get some units out and yeah we're going to hit really early for any rush really although I attack you is already uh, starting to win by now or actually when did he win? 2350 BC. Oops. Yeah, he went on 2350 BC. That is no joke. <laughs> you want to take peace yet? Never! Defy resolution. So he probably sent some chariots out in each direction and played for some luck. Amazing though. And the micro must have been tight anyway. I don't know. He, uh, he, you know, until Challenger 5, I didn't really even know his name. And uh, having seen some of his body work since then, I gotta say, flat out, I'm just impressed. He's a good player. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. He is a good player. And crap. <laughs> he already has copper. Although an axe is probably not the best unit to be defending the city. And I should be able to cut off copper with this. Yeah. Oh geez, I don't have any means of getting a border pop. So we'll just do that, that's fine. Okay, and I guess until then we'll just build a warrior, whatever. Don't really need the medic here, not on epic game speed, we don't. And oh geez, he's settling yet another city. That's somewhat frustrating and somewhat okay. Mixed feelings there. Uh, I like that he built axes, and he did not build... Um, something that's a better defender than an axe, because that would have been problematic. Alright, uh, I think my best bet here is to leave this city completely defenseless. Oh, jeez, he's got a defenseless New York. Fork troll, lol, lol, lol. And by fork, I mean placing my units between two cities separately. 
And yeah, then now we're just gonna press this city. And almost no matter what he does, I can probably take a city next turn. Either Chicago or New York. I would much prefer to get New York, obviously. And yes, it's defended by a single archer, so I can pick this off fairly easily. I would have liked to have been a little luckier, but uh, we'll take it. We'll take it. Now, I don't think I can beat uh, three defenders with four war chariots, so I'm going to hold off. And meanwhile, I'm just going to uh, camp him here. I realize I'm playing a little risky. <laughs> Because <laughs> barbarians are on. I'm kind of pretending like they aren't with these uh, city captures. But I should be able to get horse hooked up and be able to whip war chariots out of them soon. And that should help me out, to be honest. Well, you know what? If he wants to remove a unit... Yay, worker steel. Yeah, if he wants to remove a unit here, um, he's welcome to do it, uh, to take this worker. That would be fine by me. Very fine by me. And I don't think he'll be able to build anything serious, because he just settled this city. And yeah, I'll just uh, road with you as well. I'm not even going to pass go, since I'm spiritual, I can probably just, uh, you know, oops, whip. Maybe even whip overflow and do a war chariot and then whip it. Because the important thing here is just to get some extra ones quickly. And six guys, probably safe to go next turn. And then uh, I'll actually, if I can take it next turn... It's not going to grow, so it's going to auto-raise. But if I can take it next turn, I'll be able to uh, finish the road network and start on some war chariots also. Anyway, we'll attack. We'll lead off with the uh, best promoted one. I had the most likelihood of keeping my war chariots for later. Then follow up with another guy, and ah, nice. You had uh... okay. So then we run back here. We're gonna heal up. I guess I'll just drop my slider. That way, I can afford what I'm doing. And yeah, apparently I inherited some Axemen. Cute. Uh, no hammers invested yet. So what we're going to do... Oh, and I didn't need to bother researching that. I, I, did, I forgot that I uh, had captured religion. <laughs> Whoops. Oh well. You know. Not going to be perfect, I suppose. Yeah, not even going to bother with the barracks in those cities. Speed is imp everything here. Okay, you get to start building some roads for me, starting within the Boston. Or do I want both guys on roads? No, the other one I'm going to want chopping, I think. Thinking that's probably the way to go. Yeah! Look at that. I'm building up a nice force of war chariots. Now, oh, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, there's Copper here. He does have a third city. <laughs> I might be on a very uh, short timer. I'm going to probably want to get that taken as quickly as I can. And okay, although... This doesn't really compare it to your typical deity game. I mean, if you're looking at epic speed rush here and... Oh my god, did that cut off my... Yep. Sure does. <laughs> Come on now. At least I got one chariot out of it. These guys can heal up. That's just foul game. Ah, <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, these cities got to take care of themselves now. I'm afraid. Can at least keep the barbarians from capturing them from me. And that's got to count for something, right? We can just skip turn here. All oh, right, I get a promotion. It's like almost like having a barracks. 
Uh, I think in two turns I'm going to go with all my War Chariots, including the one that just made it in. He won't quite be healed, but he'll be good enough. And yep, you just do that. I guess farm for now. You really don't have a lot else to do. And okay, uh, we're almost completely healed up. So now we're just going to scooch. Yeah, we'll rough up the barbs a little bit. I would like to eventually hook these cities back up, but uh, with the impending declaration on the Americans, it might not work out for me. Oh, jeez. Alright, it's better than losing, so... I'll whip another axe. I wonder if I can bait this archer to attack my warrior instead of pillaging. Probably. Yeah. Odd place to settle a fourth. Um, I don't see him be able to reinforce this very well, and I might even be able to grab it with axes. Which I'm just going to uh, get some of these guys set up. And okay, there's no time like the present to grab a hill city at this rate. So we're going for it. Could have been luckier there, but uh, I mean, what do you want? I'm attacking with one third odds. And it almost doesn't matter with this city. I guess we'll start out with the barracks. The other question is... Okay, that copper is not connected. That is huge for me. Like, that is some serious good news. <laughs> and alright. Well, I should be relatively safe against any archer shenanigans on this side of the world. I'll go ahead and chop this. And, uh, yeah, I'll just move some axes. I would like to replace that. And otherwise, uh, we're just going to continue to build roads in this general direction. And I think, once again, the capital would be the ideal hit if I can manage it. And I actually can uh, attack with full health chariots on the following turn. It would be huge. It would be huge. If I can pick off that capital, I'm looking at a decent finish time. Which is surprising even to me. And yeah, once again, uh, since we're playing fast and loose here, we are going to go with a completely... Oh, right. Crossing River. Shoot. I was kind of hoping to get closer than that, but I didn't. I fail. Okay. Axe goes here. And I'm actually going to take another axe and put him on the forest, which should allow me to chop the forest as well. And I don't think an archer is going to actually, especially a Roosevelt archer, is going to bother attacking across a river into a forest against a superior unit. That's just probably not in the cards. So, uh, let's hope, shall we? Oh, jeez. He just whipped in a sword here. I can get 13% odds against it. Oh, man. Okay, well, if I wait, he's going to take a promotion and possibly even get an extra unit. If I attack now, I risk losing everything. So, let's uh, let's risk losing everything. Because I think it's actually a better chance. If I get a fourth defender here, there's no way I'm taking this city soon. But if I can uh, destroy it now, then my odds improve significantly. Oh, at least I'm getting some damage off. That's a good thing. Ah, yeah, we're in good shape. That win was clutch. And we are going to walk into Washington. Very nice. I don't know where he had iron. I would, if possible, like to be able to deny... Okay, no, he doesn't have the... Copper, even after a border pop. Grabbing that capital was pretty huge. No, 
I just need to finish my road network out here. And, you know, maybe defend these cities that I captured. It's a thought. But why would I bother thinking, huh? It's like microing. You don't need to do that in Civ. Yeah. As you can see, it's fairly easy to win these settings. It's a question of how quickly. Because it's already 1800 BC. That's already pushing me um, outside the top five, outside the top six even. Uh, unless I were to win this turn, which... No, even then I wouldn't be. Sun Tzu Wu has me. <clears throat> I will uh, f probably not beat anybody except for maybe Colonel Mustard and Raistlin. But what can you do? I'm trying to get on the board here. And uh, rolling and fighting at low odds. Oh my god. Okay, I'm nowhere near. And it is domination, right? Uh, no, it's conquest. Okay. So I'm not looking for domination. And this is very interesting. If I can get it roads hooked up, I can once again... Oh, do I really want to... How about we do it like so? That should be a little safer against the barbarians. Got a road here. Yeah, we're getting there now. He's nothing to say to me. He was willing to take peace before I uh, walked into his capital, but after taking his capital, no, now he's angry. Now he doesn't want to speak to me. I'm a travesty. <laughs> Yay, gold. <laughs> <laughs> Which is good, because if you look at my maintenance, it's killing me. But I'd, I'd rather not play one city challenge or go raising cities in mass. I don't think that's actually that useful. I mean, I have plenty of gold to uh, win one way or another here. And wow, he's down to two visible cities. I think he's a third over here. Or no, that was his culture. He really is down to two cities. Yeah, okay. So it's this one that might have iron. Wait, how is this one city? No, that can't be right. No, it has to be right. It would show up in the trade screen. What the heck? Can you could build some kind of wonder here? And now we're looking tentatively in this area. Yee, yeah, okay. Chop it out. Now, if I could do a run-by on these archers with their Garla too, well, okay, then that would be useful. I think in one turn I'll go ahead and whip. Oh god. Well, it's a bar backs at least. I can uh, easily cut that down, but I think I'll send two just in case he gets lucky. I'm really not in the mood <clears throat> to be losing Washington to barbarians, to be honest. And okay, one more road and we're set. Yeah, okay, you can attack me across the river onto an axe if you want. That's, uh, if that floats your boat, man, you do it. And yeah, now I have fur and I have gold, so none of these cities are going to be in danger of happiness troubles. Alright. Piece of cake, that one. And yeah, okay, he just took another city. Or settled another city, and there it is! Not quite sure on that one. I'm just gonna try to do a run-by on it and see if I can get lucky. And by run-by I mean, uh... Just what it means in StarCraft. You, uh... You see a city, or uh, you see a group of uh, units, or another city that's very well garrisoned, and you just say screw it and run by and take the other city. In StarCraft 2, that is done with Zerglings. And, well, StarCraft 1 as well. You basically run by well garrisoned areas, or sneak around and run past the opposing forces, and simply uh, screw over their worker lines with Zerglings before they can get their, po their forces back. And yes, that can be absolutely devastating. I think I just got heroic epic unlocked there. That's kind of nice. And yes, now we can start chopping the war chariots out of Washington too. 
and uh, I'm probably gonna need that, so it's a good thing I got it. And these cities can also now switch over to war chariots once again, which are good because they are cheaper than axes and faster. Whoops, I did not mean to skip turn here. I guess I can go ahead and chop. I'm really not expecting much with this axe expedition. Kind of just looking for a pot shot, I suppose. And I'm much stronger than Roosevelt, which is encouraging. I have a fear slash feeling that this is his iron city over here. Oh, you suck, Roosevelt. Actually, those axes can come to something. I can um, put some threat on San Fran and then work him over with a stack of war chariots from both sides and if he has a lot of forces there basically just pile on with both my axes and my war chariots and that should allow me to gain local superiority there and overwhelm so that works let's go ahead and whip overflow into war chariots we'll get more war chariots as we go here and yeah you just uh, fortify up a lot of archers caught out of position here I'd be lying if I said I didn't like it. I can't take this with uh, six war chariots, but I can take it with six war chariots and five axes, and I can also block additional archers from reinforcing beyond these. Oh god. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe not. Apparently I have a barbarian force here as well. How to annoy me as usual. Sure. 20% odds on that. Not too bad. I think the axis I'm just going to sack. At this point it's almost certain I'm going to win the game. It's just a question of timing. I guess I could run out of money and strike, but I'm not counting that as super likely. Yeah, 6% odds here with these uh, axes. It's actually not so good. 8%. Let's see. 7.26%. Another 7.26. And 7.96. So yeah, they're uh, really just collateral at that point. They're not going to do a whole lot. But hopefully that will set up the War Chariots for some success. Because War Chariots have first strike immunity. And uh, they're also 5 strength. And unlike my axes, these war chariots actually have some promotions. So, uh, yeah, we'll just pick off these archers, take the city, and call it a day there. Excellent. And yeah, we can get the war chariots right away in this city, which is useful, because I have tile improvements in that city as well. And oh, there's his iron mine. Okay. So not doing too badly here overall, then. I think we'll just run back over to Boston, start massing up war chariots on this border using these cities. That should help out with San Fran. Because I don't see a lot being produced in that city, so... Why the heat? Ooh, I actually am experiencing war wariness. Dude, you're crazy. <laughs> War wariness? In the BCs this early? It hurts. But probably not as much as Roosevelt is hurting. And yeah, this axe can just be fortified. The barbarians did cause me a little bit of trouble, but I don't really see the need to ban them under these settings. It doesn't make a big difference. And I think that's fairly obvious from the results here. And oh, we got a stray archer. Couple stray archers here and there. Really not a lot to worry about though. And yeah, we'll just uh, kill this. No effort at all. Just the way I like it. Easy mode. Just like the Lancer in Gears of War 3. I don't know if I've mentioned this yet or not, but this game, that game is really good. Like, an amazing game. It's well balanced. It doesn't have any lag issues like Call of Duty has. 
And if you're looking for an excellent competitive online shooter that is balanced and had strategy in it, look no further than Gears of War 3. I'm really loving that experience. But uh, yeah, you do have a lot more assault rifle usage than you did in previous gears. So fans of the series who kind of like to derp out, sh spam the shotguns, might not appreciate it as much. But um, the shotguns are still very usable. Uh, don't get me wrong there. There's no way you'd have trouble using the shotguns. But the uh, assault rifles are actually a threat too. And uh, that should count for something as well. Okay, we got Combat 3 here against a Flatland City with 20% defenses. And someone was telling me the AI takes good promotions or does something intelligent on the forums. I submit this as evidence to the contrary in that people who complained about the AI doing intelligent things were not complaining about the AI doing intelligent things. That's a disgrace right there. Gorilla. And of course, it still beats me, but you know. Got deity bonuses, so you know. Can't expect to easily win it. Oh, nice. Nice great general. That's um, that's gonna save you there, I'm sure. And I got some lucky outcomes. Excellent. So I'll just be uh, taking this city. I think I'll just production automate you. Or maybe not. Maybe I'll just uh, not production automate you. How about that? And yeah, now it's just one city left. It's, uh, two archers in a hill city. You know, I might be able to pull something off here. If I can just send the healthy war chariots across. Yeah, you know what, I'm not even going to stop the heal. Let's just end this now. I could probably even snipe this archer. Yeah. Because San Fran really can't do anything right now, so... It's fine. Uh, once again, checking here. Yeah, I, everybody except Colonel Mustard will have beaten me on this. But I don't care. I'm just happy to have finished the series. I'll try to raise my place in a couple of the other games, which are uh, less competitive for final finish slots. And uh, that'll be that. I'll finally have the Challenger series beaten at least. Which is good unto itself. Go ahead and chop this. I don't think I'll even need these guys. I have enough war chariots on the following turn. I'll just leave this guy at home. And please tell me I'm not going to win domination by accident. No, I'd need 72% land area to win dom, so that's not going to happen. Yeah, if I can avoid him getting an extra archer, uh, I should be fine to take this next turn. We'll see. These things don't always go as you like. It's an understatement. But I do have a lot of war chariots to put pressure on that. So, whatever. Lots of war chariots for wins. Yeah. <laughs> I'll have uh, eight war chariots in range with another seven following up in case anything goes poorly. That should be fine. And then one or two more turns, San Fran is going down. Looks like one more. Yep, no promotions at all, but he doesn't have any uh, city defenses, so uh, this shouldn't be too bad. I can probably take it this turn, unless I get unlucky. Which looks like it's happening, because despite my first strike immunity, these uh, I'm getting no damage draws here. Oh, okay, unluck, yes, but uh, sufficient unluck to lose? No. Good, we win. That is game. So yeah, I mean, they did their research. Great Plains is obviously the way to go on this map. I'm sure you can see why, or on these settings. And plenty of gold to spare. No issues there at all. If this were a uh, larger map, I could have killed two civs by now. Which would put you in a very strong position, even on Deity. So... <laughs> <laughs> if you want to get a cheap deity win, play Epic or Marathon with somebody like Inca or um, Persia or Egypt, and you can pull things like this off pretty easily. We'll just go ahead and turn here.
Yes, we win conquest. 1275 BC. Look at that. How close are you get? <laughs> First horse start I get. Well, there you go, viewers. Technically, it's a deity win. Technically. <laughs> I don't count it, but if you want to, by all means. It's a pretty good score, huh? <laughs> It'll show up as a deity win. In, uh... For Hall of Fame submission purposes. It is technically deity, so there you go. You are all requesting it. And as part of the Challenger series, it comes. And with this, I am on the board in every single uh, facet of the Challenger series. We are finally done. Yes. Um, 1275 BC. Okay, so I got ninth in the previous game and over 10th in this game. That would be worth one and a half points, and I would be 10th, uh, just behind Aged One. And if I could get like a 5th place finish or a 6th place finish in another game, that would actually vault me up pretty highly. I could probably get into this area with that. Interesting. But I never really uh, put out a lot of effort to spam the games required to do well. And uh, to be frank, these guys up here, they are better players than me anyway. And at least when they're microing carefully, I don't have a chance against them. They're really good. But, oh well. It's certainly been fun. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the Challenger series. Uh, possibly I'll be getting a Prince game uh, for Space Race recorded today. But if not, thumbs up if you enjoyed this series. The Me and Team, signing off.